when you uh, join this this thing, it is important to count the cost. You're building something. You're you're building a temple. You gotta know what it takes to build the temple. You don't just you know start building something and have no no plan. You gotta you you go to build a house, you need a blueprint. You need plumbing. There's a lot of stuff that you need when it comes to, you know, building. It's this and you gotta diligently make sure you know what I got what it takes. I can sacrifice all this stuff in order to you know build and work on this house in this truth you have to count the cost do you got what it takes can you can you or are you willing to cut off family members for this truth are you willing to go, you know, days, hours, you know, where, or not, I said hours, but uh, weeks or days, you know, staying away from certain family members just because you have to be focused. Steve Jobs, he was devoted to Apple. And he spent a lot of time to Apple. It affected his uh, personal relationship with his families. And with this truth, hey, you gotta, this truth comes first. This truth comes first more than anything. And you gotta, you know, put this truth first. This truth is your woman. You know, forget your, you know, your, your, your wife, your baby mama for a minute. This truth is the most important thing. And you got to act like it's the most important thing. So when you count the cost, there's a lot of stuff you got to consider. You know, Satan's going to come after you, right? You know, you leaving the world, getting closer to the most high. Oh, Satan gonna come to come after you with a vengeance. He's gonna come after you in ways that you never even knew. He's gonna come at you subtly. He's gonna come at you through your family members. He's gonna come at you through your co-workers, supervisors, bosses, random people, TV, social media. Satan got all types of ways. To try to come at and get at you. Temptations. Women throwing themselves at you all of a sudden. Try to get you off this path. Man. You have a. Uh, when you are, you know, counting the cost of this thing. You got to take into consideration. Hey. Hey. Can I afford to have children for those brothers who want to have children? Can you afford to have children? If it doesn't work, can you afford to continue to raise, you know, or support your child? If it doesn't work out. You know, a lot of brothers have uh, baby, baby mother issues. You know, sometimes the woman, the demon, use a child against you. Do you have what it takes to finish this job? You know, sometimes, you know, you start thinking with your head. And it's so easy, your other head, and it's so easy to do because it's a, 
has a mind of its own. I'm guilty of it. You know, you want to live after this flesh and nothing wrong with, you know, we're, we're, we're men, we're made to be, you know, to, you know, when, when we're a certain age, our, our rods get, you know, stiff for no damn reason. Because it's, you know, you know, we basically burn it. We're naturally, we're made like that. It's something that you want to fulfill. I mean, can't wait to get all the type of women I want in the kingdom. But if you count the cost and you just laying with a woman, and you raw dogging, no pulling out, and yet and you got children on the way. Like, did you count the cost that uh yeah you you got a family to take care of now? It's going to be a lot harder. Do you have the finances to support? the child and if you don't do you have time to to go to uh, some type of trade school to get a trade to where you're making more money do you have enough time to take on a, a, an additional job just to support your family that's part of counting the cost as well you gotta really sit down and think about what it is that you're getting yourself into. This is a uh, Proverbs chapter ten and verse. Where are we at? <coughs> Excuse me. Ten and verse. Thirty it says the righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. So the righteous are going to basically stand bold. They're going to stand in their lot. They're not going to be moved. When you have a, a job to do, that's what you're going to do. You're going to do your job. There's a uh, times you know certain stuff you can't really predict in this thing you know you you build a building you can't predict that you know it might be a, a strong wind that that you know i don't know or a thunderstorm that knocks some part down and you got to rebuild it There's certain stuff you just can't predict but there's a lot of stuff you actually can you know with just foresight foresee if you sitting down examining situations you have, you really have if you have a woman you have a whole lot of counting the cost to to do she might leave you she might not there's some brothers who are are codependent on their woman and, and then there's some women who will burn every bridge if they possibly can just to out of spite you know when you are uh, counting the cost you know one other thing that you gotta to look at because that, that's a major thing is, uh, is your family and wanting the family and women that's a major part of counting the cost some brothers just get with women and you know just gonna you know lay pipe and you know it just go in the spirit and then things happen you have a you have a child you're supposed to take care of that are you counting the cost that you might lose your job now does that mean count the cost and you should actually uh i don't know uh go to some type of drastic uh measures no you don't go to no you know drastic measures but you count the cost and understand that hey i might lose my job i can go and get another one are you are you built for that no oh, man if i lose my job that's everything man i can't lose my job 
hey, even if, if, if you're not built for this, you going to, the spirit is going to weed you out anyways. And on that note, I hope this lesson has been edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Akai Gadash Bragatha. Double honor to Elder GMS, we will. Peace out, you taste it, and shalom.